Hello. I have five different pair of sunglasses that I'm going to be talking about. All of them are similar in style and they're all polarized. Well, except for maybe one. So let's just get right down to it. I'm going to start with uh, the first pair that I've had. And these are Wiley X Brick. Okay, I believe these are made in Taiwan. And they have a wraparound design, a sleek type of design, similar to the other sunglasses that, about which I'm gonna be speaking here in a second. And this is the third pair of these that I've had. Uh, the first pair I lost, the second pair I broke, and this is the third pair. And when, when this, this pair arrived, one thing I noticed was that it felt lighter and more flimsy than the previous two pairs I had. I don't know, maybe the, maybe they changed production, moved it to China or Taiwan or something where it was made in the U.S. before, but I don't know. It says on here, on the frame, Taiwan, so I'm pretty sure that's where these are made. They have plastic lenses, they're polarized, and uh, UV protection, of course. They also come with a gas version. I now have three of these since I have three pairs of, of these. So this gasket, oh, and oh, I forgot to mention the new gaskets here are, are real thin. The, that is the gasket that came with the third pair, whereas the previous gaskets are nice and thick. And let me see. Yeah, here is the newest gasket, real thin. And here is one or one of the older gaskets. So you can see that the older gasket provides much more protection. Anyway, I bought these for skydiving and motorcycle riding. These I intended to use these as general all-purpose all-purpose glasses, and they've they've worked pretty well. I, I've liked them, and I've taken them on many overseas trips with me. One thing I don't like about them are plastic lenses, and um, of course these, compared to the previous ones, are more lightweight and flimsy. They don't seem as well made. They do work well for riding motorcycles, they Keep the even without the gasket. They keep the wind out of your eyes, and uh, I don't have any issues with these when I ride a motorcycle. They also worked well when I, when I went skydiving with them. I use the gasket, of course. They also come with a strap, so you can keep them secured to your face. All right, now. Now let's take a look at these. These are Persol Ratty, 58230, I believe. These are the ones that uh, Schwarzenegger wore in Terminator 2. I got these on eBay for rather cheap. If you see these on eBay in black, they can be upwards of a thousand dollars. Very expensive. These are worn, you know, you see the, the frame is white in some areas where the black is worn off of them. Also, there's a chip in the frame, but you can't really notice it. I got these for a lot cheaper than what they typically go for on Amazon. These are not polarized, but they are UV protected and they have uh, glass lenses. These are obviously came out uh, before Luxottica took over Persol. I believe these are handmade, they're made in Italy. These are decent glasses. I, I've taken these overseas with me a few times, worn them around, and you know they're they're just good glasses to walk around with. Of course, like I said, they're not polarized, but you know, do you really need polarization unless you're really really trying to block out reflections and the stuff like that? And most of my glasses are polarized because I, when I ride on a motorcycle, I don't need any extra glare and and. Uh, Fishing, I really don't do a lot of fishing, but 
polarization helps when you're fishing. So, these are decent glasses. They're not that great for motorcycle riding, but um, other than that, I like them. Now, these are Oakleys. Oakley is owned by Luxottica. I'm not sure when Luxottica purchased Oakley, but um, I was kind of disappointed with these. These are polarized. UV protection, plastic lenses, plastic frames. I'm not sure where they're made. I mean, Taiwan, maybe. It doesn't say. China, probably. I mean, they feel flimsy. They feel like like convenience store sunglasses, the kind of things you can pick up off of, off a rack for five bucks at a, at a convenience store. And I bought these as uh, alternate sunglasses to keep on my motorcycle in case uh, I need to give somebody a ride and have some extra glasses ready or whatever. They don't look too bad. And as far as keeping the wind out of your eyes when you're riding, they're not as good as the Wiley X bricks, but they're okay. And for the price of these, over a hundred bucks, I don't think these are worth it. Worth it. These are gas cans. These are my, probably my least favorite sunglasses. And I wouldn't buy them again. Now, these came in a few days ago, and I like these. These are Maui Jim Stingray polarized UV glass lenses, plastic frames that are seen solidly made. They fit well. They look decent. When I got these, these instantly became my favorite sunglasses. I haven't ridden on a motorcycle with these, but I'm going to do that to test to see how much air I get in my eyes. The polarization is pretty significant. They are tight. Not tight fitting, but tightly made. I like these. They have a good feel and good weight to them. You can tell that these aren't your typical $5 shades from a convenience store. These, these are quality. These are also made in Italy. It says so on the, on the, uh, on the arm. And as far as I know, Maui Jim is not owned by Luxottica. So if you have a problem with Luxottica, Maui Jim would be a good consideration. I had uh, decided to make these my go-to general all-purpose sunglasses. Kind of replacing my Wiley X bricks, which I'll use for skydiving, of course, since they have the gasket and the strap. Now, these just came in. These are Ray-Ban Balaramas. I haven't even uh, tried them on yet. Just out of the package, but I did check them out to see if there were any signs of being counterfeit. And they passed most of the typical Ray-Ban counterfeit tests. I don't believe these are counterfeit. And I haven't even seen where people counterfeit this style of Ballarama. And I like this style because the, well, they have the wraparound style, so you know these can be used hopefully for motorcycle riding. They're kind of sleek, uh, similar in style to the ones that I just showed you already. Made in Italy, uh, glass lenses, I think. I'm pretty sure they have glass lenses. I could be wrong about that. But they seem they seem to be decent quality sunglasses. All right, this is the first time that I've tried them on. They fit well. They they wrap around my face. I'm not getting a lot of light in from the sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these all out, take a ride on the motorcycle, and see which ones are adequate in keeping the air out of my eyes. 
So. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right. I just got back from taking a ride on the motorcycle where I stopped to get some cigars and some whiskey. Cheers. So anyway, I took the five sunglasses with me to try them each out to see which ones work the best as far as clarity and keeping the debris and wind out of your eyes and stuff like that. So first of all, I started off with my Wiley X's. These work well. I did get some debris in my eye once or twice. But for the most part, they kept the the, the wind out of my eyes. And, and if you're on a motorcycle, you know what I'm talking about, where you're riding down the road and your eyes are watering because you get a bunch of wind in your eyes even though you have sunglasses on. And the same thing, you get debris in your eyes even if, even if you have some sunglasses on. So, these are good. These are good, good sunglasses for riding motorcycles. These are the Wiley X Brick. They come with a gasket, they come with straps, they wrap around your face, they're, they're also can be used for shooting. I think they have some kind of shooting protection uh, rating with them and skydiving. They're good for skydiving. Now after these, I put on a Maui Gym. Maui Gym, made in Italy, not by Luxottica. Glass lenses, polarized, UV, pretty much the same type of style. This, that sleek, kind of uh, wraparound style. These worked well too on the motorcycle. Kept the wind out of my eyes, kept the debris out. I didn't get any debris in my eyes wearing these. But that doesn't mean that they're better protection. They're better at keeping debris out than the Wiley X's because it all just depends on circumstances. But one thing I noticed when I put these on was the clarity. These were much more clear than the Wiley X bricks. And I think this has to do with the glass lenses. It seems that glass, in my opinion, is always much clearer than plastic. Then, I stopped and got some gas, and I switched over to my Ray-Ban Balaramas. Made in Italy, UV, polarized, good glasses, they were clear, not quite as clear as Maui Gems, and I believe that just we had a little bit more wind getting my eye with these. But these are good. And then, I stopped and I put on my Oakley gas cans. Oh, I'm sorry, not the gas cans, I mean the, the uh, Persol, Persol. Persol Ratty 28 on 58320. The so-called Terminator 2 glasses. Got a lot of, a lot of wind in my eyes. By the end of the ride, my eyes were watering. There was so much wind. These are not good for riding motorcycles. They look cool. They're clear. Blow them off. So if, if I was to wear these anymore on the motorcycle, I'm going to have to use some croquis or chums to hold, hold them to my face. And then I went to Oakley's gas can. These are good. Keeping the wind out of your eyes. Clarity's not too bad. But I'm going to rank them. Uh, Wiley X, or not Wiley X, but uh, Maui Jim being the best. Maui Jim Stingrays are the best for me. They're the clearest and they kept the most wind out of my eyes. I like these the best. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the Wiley X bricks, the Oakley gas cans, and the Ray-Ban Persols, the Ray-Ban Balaramas, they're all about the same. 
And then finally the Persol Ratties, 58 230s. They're they're the least they're they're not as good as the others as far as riding a motorcycle goes. But so for my all around best sunglasses in this comparison, I like I like the uh, Maui GM Stingrays. And the other ones are okay. Yeah, the Maui, Maui GM Stingrays and the Wiley X Bricks are good. The uh, Ray-Ban the Ray-Ban Balaramas are good and I'm going to put those a second. The uh, Ratty, Persol Ratties are good. I like those. I'm going to put those in the same league as the other two but not for riding motorcycles, just for all around. And the reason I don't like the gas cans is I just don't like the style and I think they're cheaply made. But as far as riding goes, they're just fine. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.